Hey guys, so basically Nuketown Zombies came out like a week ago and now I'm finally getting around to playing it. Um, it came out for season pass holders on PS3. Of course, uh, you know, one month later than Xbox people because um, they are special because they make contracts with Activision. Yep. Anyways, I've tried to play this map before. So perks fall out of this um, mushroom cloud and onto the map. And anytime now, um, quick revive will come, but Juggernog was the last thing to come last time. Oh, or it could be the pack a punch machine. So, yep, it's a meteor that falls out of the sky. So, um, yep. Hopefully, Juggernog comes sooner than it did last time I tried this, because I wouldn't like it to not do that. So, here we go. Quick revive. I don't know why I shot so much, because I usually don't shoot that much at earlier rounds. Anyways, um... Not sure exactly what my strategy would be. Why am I shooting so much? I don't know why I'm on shooting mode. Maybe because I was just on, like, round... Like, 14, then I died, because... The game wouldn't give me Juggernog. <laughs> yep. Alright, what gun should I buy? Oh. I'll activate the teddy bear for the easter egg thingy. I think there's like three sound easter egg things, but I don't really know what the other ones are. But there's something. <laughs> Where art thou, zombie? Here you is. Ooh, quick revive song. Let's listen to this beautiful song. And kill that zombie. Anyways, this is like Nuketown from Black Ops 1. It's not, um, Nuketown 2025. Like the Black Ops 2 version. But it's been nuked and zombified. As though it appears. These zombies aren't hitting me. Unlike last game. Okay. I just jinxed myself. Okay, now they're hitting me a lot. Gosh, I wish I wouldn't have said that. Alright, alright. Okay, I'm gonna get the B23R. Because it's pretty good. And, um, it's a 3 round burst pistol. So I'm running out of ammo in here. And my knife won't do me very good. So I think I'm going to open up this way this time. Last time I tried to do it that way, but it didn't really work for me. So I'm doing this way this time. Okay, where's this last zombie? I'm like listening in my headphones and trying to find him. Oh, he's in there. It seems like they're never in there. Hey there. Hey there. Did I shoot your arm off? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I kill you? Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. What the heck was that? I like never noticed that before. Oh, I guess it's kind of like the Nuco meter thingies on Nuketown 2025. But you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, why did I open that way? I should have opened that way because the mystery box over there. Just like last game, I opened the one that's opposite to the mystery box. But let's not talk about last game because it brings bad memories with it. Yep. And because you didn't see it, so you might not know what I'm talking about. Maximum ammo. Maximum yulis ammo yulis. Yep. So the best grape train spots on this map are the backyards of the houses. And this population sign, when it reaches certain numbers, then your perks and or pack a punch machine comes out of the sky. And whoa, that zombie failed at hitting me. Yep. So not quite sure how the sign thing works because I know it's not when you reach that many kills then it comes down because that's what I thought it was but that's not how it seems to work with me so I don't think that's it but it's something kind of like that oh I could have gone down if I stepped forward 
So I'm just trying to get some points here. I should probably open up that side, but for some reason I chose to open up that side, so yeah. Also in here, there's some cool things. There's actually Galvan Knuckles in there. They're just kind of hitting uh, behind a box right there. Yep, there they are. They're still 6,000, so they're expensive, but they get you a lot of points in return. So, they're completely worth it. Alright, um, I'm hoping Juggernaut comes down first. Or second. Last time, there's like, Speed Cola. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna talk about last time, because it went terrible. Juggernaut was the last one to come down, and it didn't come down in the time of me playing it, so I died. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Now, I probably want to go that way first, I guess, since I already opened it up. But let's finish this round first. First things first. There we go. Yep, let's go this way. Let's open the top, because it's better for great trends to not let them in from the bottom part this down there. Should I get this? Because I'm not sure if I should. Because I just got this. And I want to keep this for Mustang and Sally. Trust me. Because it's amazing. Okay, I'll keep this. Should I open this? Or just leave it for now? I think I'll get some points, then open it. Technically, it wouldn't make a difference, so... I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Alright, um... Zombie? This is still a one-burst kill. Okay, so I can't get any knives in yet. To get me a few extra points. Oh, well. Oh, something's coming out of the sky. See that meteor thing? I hope it's Juggernog. Hopefully it's not the pack punch because we don't need it yet. It looks like it's going to fall on my face. It's probably going to land there and kill some zombies. Yep, told you. Oh, it's Juggernog. Yes. Finally, things go good for me. And I get a nuke that gets me quite a lot of points. 400 to be exact. Yeah. Alright, I don't have enough yet, but I'll definitely save up, because that's the most important thing in zombies. Wait, would a good gun be more important? And maybe even not, I don't know, because for Juggernog, you could go forever if you use the right strategies. You could use, go forever if you use the right strategies if you don't have it technically, but people don't have many strategies for that that really work. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird laugh. <laughs> but I like having fun in zombies and recording and whatever. So we're getting close to almost having enough for that thing of a doodle. This gun is starting to get a little worse because it's not a one burst kill. But that's better for points because I can knife, which, um, a fatal knife is 130 points. Or a single shot is 10 points. But it has 3 shots, so I guess it's not that bad. And now, as I near having enough points to get Cherry Dog, it starts to get amazing. I probably should have shot him first and then knifed him to get maximum amount of points that I could have got from that. I have enough to get it at the moment, so I'm gonna kill a few zombies first. Cause I can. Cause I want to. Alright, I think that I should have a goal round to go for. The highest I've gotten on this map, which I always play on easy because I'm not very good. But um the highest I've ever got on this map was round nineteen. On easy, of course. So um I guess we'll try to beat that. Get to twenty, maybe. But we might not do it. Who cares? Really, you know? Alright. There's another teddy bear over here. The sort of thingy. Oh, I forgot I still had insta kill. What the? Oh no! That was bad. Alright, I at least have a juggernaut now. I have the juggernaut. Sorry, sometimes Perca Cola songs get stuck in my brain head. My head and my brain are actually in the same place, believe it or not. 
Yeah, it's kind of weird. I know it's not like that with most people, but... I was given special abilities at birth. I think I'm gonna get the MP5. You can't catch me, zombie. You can't catch me. You cannot catch me. I'm gonna kill you. 